do you like to collect the bones? What is up friends, Benjamin from Retro Moment Pops here. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe down below. Now, I am at Second and Charles, one of my favorite places in the world. Once again, um, it's a Saturday morning and the reason I'm here right now is because the last month or so, they've been doing Funko reveals every Saturday morning. Just a bunch of cool pops they got in throughout the week and they show them all off at one time. So I'm gonna go in there, see if I can find anything cool. After we do that, we're gonna head over to the mall, which is actually just right over there. And uh, we're gonna check out a bunch of stores over there. So. Let's go do it. All right, let's get straight into it. Second and Charles. This is their table. They put all their new pops out uh, each Saturday. So decided to get straight into it and take a look at all the cool stuff I could find. Um, Tommy from the Rugrats. That's pretty cool. I think that's the original uh, coming from 2018. So comment down below if I'm wrong. But that's a pretty cool one because I did watch a lot of that show as a kid. And I still to this day think it's hilarious. Uh, WandaVision, that's cool. She's reading from the Dark Hold. Uh, made my way to the other side of the table. I did find that Black Widow pop. Fade Rautha from Dune. I love me some Dune. Then I don't show that Fallout pop exclusively, but I do think it's cool just because that series just came out a couple of days ago. So I thought I would uh, mention that. But uh, I got looking on this other side of the table and I did see right here that Black Clover pop. That's from, uh, I think it's a, yeah, it's a Funko Shop exclusive, Glow in the Dark. That's a, a unique one. I don't know much about the show, but I did kind of like that pop. Um, having a hard time putting it back, as you can see. <laughs> but uh, I looked over here and did find this Justice League 2 pack. I've seen that one here before. That one's definitely been here. Um, then uh, this Colossus is definitely new, though. I think that's awesome because I love the X-Men and that Kamikaze sticker is sweet. I am... I mean, recently I'm kind of offloading my Marvel Pops, though, because I don't really think they're appreciating in value right now, so I kind of have to be, uh, well, I'm being really selective about what I take as far as what Marvel goes. Um, but I do pick up some Marvel Pops later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. I, I just was kind of selective about it. Um, anyway, I kept looking around. Uh, I did find this, uh, this pop right here, which is a Wonder Woman pop, I believe. Kind of cool, didn't see that movie, but uh, the design on that is pretty sweet. Then I found this pop, I think that's from Stripes, uh, Walmart exclusive, so kind of unique, I don't know, kind of cool. Anyway, I kept looking, these are the last few pops I found on this table here, then I went and looked in the back as well. Uh, this Black Adam is pretty cool, Funko Shop exclusive, comic accurate. Um, this Batman was really cool, Hot Topic exclusive, uh, I think it's an anniversary pop, and the box is just awesome, that, that holographic like shine is pretty sweet. Um, then Doppelganger Spider-Man, uh, LA Comic Con uh, sticker on the front, which is pretty sweet. I thought that was a cool one, so definitely worth showing off. Then I decided to go take a look in the back, like I said. So walked back there, their Funko uh, like section is always so packed. I just kind of love looking through the pops here and seeing what new stuff I can find. Um, I found this Phoenix Suns mascot. That's, that's kind of funny. My brother lives in Phoenix, so... That, I guess, is for him. That's pretty sweet. Uh, then uh, I did find this Ramon from Cars. That's pretty cool. I looked around for other Cars pops, but that was really the only one I could find. thought it was pretty sweet. Um, then on the other side, this pop right here. Controversial, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I got looking at this. Noticed that there is a $75 price tag on that thing. And I was like, is that accurate? So I did some research here. And I will show, I'm going to throw up some pictures here in just a second. I will show that that $75, from what I can gather, I think that is a mistake. And I think they've charged like way too much. So you have a few different ones here. The Ghost Flocked from San Diego Comic-Con. The Ghost Flocked, which is just normal. And you can see both of those have high price tags than the one we found for $17. So why that has a $75 price tag, I don't know. Um... If I'm missing something, comment down below. I really would like to know, but I think I think Second and Charles has just maybe made a mistake there because that is, holy cow, extremely pricey. So definitely check the price tags if you're going to Second and Charles because that's that's wild. Um, anyway, moving on. I've spent enough time on that now. I uh, found that cool Frieza. Then this is maybe the coolest thing I found. Um, this blue raspberry glow-in-the-dark Sour Patch Kid that was exclusive to something. I don't know. I've never seen that sticker before. But uh, yeah, I thought it was cool. So all in all, really cool time at Second and Charles. Okay, just walked out of Second and Charles. Didn't pick up any pops, but I did pick up some other 
kind of like random stuff. Um, I'll show that off later and kind of explain why I got it, but uh, let's go to the mall now. All right, now starting out at box lunch in the mall, um, I got really lucky in finding just about every single one of the new Nickelodeon pops, the animation pops they came out with, um, Wild Thornberries, uh, Jimmy Neutron, and then you can even see down here at the bottom row, they had a few of the uh, Stimpy and Ren, or Ren and Stimpy, I guess, if you want to actually call it the right way. Uh, they had a few of those pops left over, which they all look so cool. Like, those molds are great. I didn't get any myself, um, but I thought they were awesome. Plus, I did find this box lunch exclusive Spider-Man with the hot dog. Like, oh my gosh, they were totally stocked up today. So, jeez, crazy. Then I went to the back here and uh, found some even more new pops. Like this Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. That's cool. Um, then the Zenitsu. I thought about getting this, but I actually found something I kind of wanted a little more in the store today. And I, I will show that off in, uh, you know, a little bit here. But kept looking, found LeBron James. Not a fan of him myself. I'm, uh, you know, being a Jazz fan, I, uh, I actually kind of hate the Lakers. <laughs> so, but I still thought that pop was kind of cool. Then uh, tons of Harry Potter pops, the new ones. Like I said, like, oh my gosh, they were stacked with new pops today. Um, Hagrid, that's really cool. Then uh, I did forget a couple on the end over here. I'll show those in a second. But first off, Harry Potter and Buckbeak and Dumbledore up there. Um, and yeah, finally Hermione Granger and then Stan... Shunpike? Shunpike? Is that how you say his name? I don't know. I, that's But anyway, he's from the third movie. Uh, but yeah, then the uh, the new Star Wars pops. Now, Obi-Wan was definitely the one I liked the most. Okay, um, now to the biggest surprise of the day. And that is the mall was randomly having a collector, like a card collector event going on that I had no idea about. And a couple of vendors in there had pops. And you can see this first one has crazy grails. Like... Oh my gosh, a lot of these are nuts. Like, oh my, wow. Anyway, then tons of Marvel Pops as well. Some cool Spider-Man chases at the top there. Some Venomized stuff. And then that one is hilarious. That's from uh, Spider-Man when Captain America is like talking to them through the weird little low budget video they made. It's hilarious. Um, some Stranger Things, tons of Stitch. Lots of people are Stitch collectors out there. Uh, some Winnie the Pooh, Fraggle Rock tons of cool animation and then even peanuts there at the bottom which i'm not fully showing but uh, you can kind of get a glimpse at them uh hocus pocus there as well i don't see those pops hardly ever so that was kind of cool to see panic and pain that's awesome so yeah they had a, a really good selection this first booth here and this is actually i should say uh, a guy named skyler i mentioned him in my video last week he's i think he calls his shop sky's the limit and they had a booth at What's Poppin' um, just a week ago. And so I, I went and looked through their stuff. They're really cool. Uh, this piece was wild. I didn't even ask how much they were they were wanting for that because I know that's out of my price range times 100. So, uh, but still, it was cool to see. And then they had some cool Disney stuff up at the front. Uh, you can see lots of cool Disney animation. And then it gets okay. into some uh, Rick and Morty. Um, then I went to the back here. And there was another vendor that was uh, selling lots of in-box stuff as well as out-of-box stuff. So I, I don't know about you guys, but I think looking through out-of-box like bundles like this or like just, I don't know, big boxes is really fun. Uh, you never really know what you're going to find. And people typically sell out-of-box for, for really good prices. I mean, I think he said this whole box here was a dollar a piece. Um, which is crazy. Some of these pieces, I mean, there's Star Wars in there, there's Marvel in there, um, and I know there's a lot of collectors for both of those things, so if you're trying to finish a collection or get some pieces, you know, that you want for cheap, I mean, this is a perfect way to do it. So, I don't know, I love Out of Box. Just exciting stuff, and I was loving looking through all of these. Didn't see anything in this box particularly that I wanted to take home, but... I uh, did still see some, some noteworthy things. I mean, uh, Black Widow right there. I loved that movie. Um, and yeah, just all around really cool to look at. But I will say, the out of box does not stop there. Those were his lower end things. Um, I'm looking through his inbox stuff here. But he had on the other side of his store, his little section, he had an out of box table that just had better pops, more interesting pops. And I went through and looked at that thing, which I'll show here in just a second. And I actually did get something from it. Um, but first here, I'm looking through all these Marvel Pops. 
Uh, but yeah, here's that out of box table. Oh my gosh. Feel free to just pause at any moment and look through all of the crazy stuff that's here just to see if there's anything you'd like. Um, he said most of these were $10 a piece. The ones that are bagged obviously are, are priced specifically. Those are a little bit more uh, higher end. I mean, but still, that's a $15 pop right there. $15 for Samwise, like still very affordable, good prices. Really cool. And I spent quite a lot of time looking through this table, just trying to find something cool. That Professor X, I probably would have got if it wasn't missing the little stand that holds his chair up. Um, you know, Venom Soda, that is such a cool pop, or I should say soda. Uh, then some more Marvel back here. I love that Back to the Future there, a few Morbius. Um, then he had this piece here, original Loki. He was asking a hundred bucks for it. And then I think only like 15 or 10 for the, uh, the black and white one. Um, but man, crazy table. And I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't even stop there because in a second here, I found that he had a box under the table with even more out of box stuff which I will show. Um, but he also just decided to show me this crazy Aquaman out of box that he had, which is just right here. Um, I don't know how much he was wanting for that. He didn't tell me, but that's a, a pretty cool piece. And then, uh, yeah, here you go. That's that, that box he had under the table of just other miscellaneous pieces. That swack hammer, swack hammer, however you say that. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, like what the heck? I just decided to go to the mall on a Saturday Turns out they're having a trading card show there that I had no idea about. And a couple of vendors had tons of Funko Pops. So, all right, I looked through and I actually did end up getting something. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good deal. So I picked it up and I thought it was cool. What, like what? How random is that? Okay, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go home and I will show you what I got. Okay, I'm back from the hunt. And wow, that did not go the way that I thought it would at all. Okay. Let me go over the things that I got. All right, so I'm gonna start off at Second and Charles first off. So as you know, they have that weekly pop reveal and it was kind of funny because uh, I got looking at the table and I realized that a lot of the pops on that table were there two weeks ago when I, <laughs> when I went to look. So nothing crazy new there. There were some cool things. Um, what I ended up buying from Second and Charles wasn't even like Funko related at all. So uh, let's get into it, let me show you. So first off, I got this little figure here. I think this is called Kid Robot. I don't know anything about these. And when I Google them, I feel like I don't get any information. So if you know about these, comment down below and explain them to me because I think they're cool uh, and I'd like to know more about them. But anyway, the one that I got is from The Simpsons. It's this, uh, the little old sea sailor man. Um, I thought it was really funny. I liked it. It was only a few bucks. So I picked it up and my intention with this is actually to put it on the dashboard of my car for a couple of reasons. First off, it's hilarious. Second off, to remind everybody who gets in my car that I am the captain, always. I'm the captain now. All right, yeah, there's that. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna set him, I'm gonna set him right there for now, then I'll put him in my car later. All right, now onto the second thing that I purchased from Second and Charles. So I'm gonna preface this by saying, I have in the past been known to dabble in comic collecting. I have tried to nip that one in the bud because I don't want it to take over my life like Funko Pops have, but uh, I found a, a comic there that I just thought was awesome. So I picked it up because I have tons of comics at my desk at work and I'm gonna swap this one in. I'm gonna take one of them out and put this one on because I think it is so cool. And that is Mark Spector Moon Knight. I think this is number 38. I'm not familiar with uh, the year this came out or even the storyline this is from, I don't know what run of Moon Knight this is, if this is the first run or second, or third, I have no idea. All I know is it has Punisher and Moon Knight and it looks pretty, uh, you know, just an old art style and I think it is so cool, I love it. And Moon Knight is uh, my second favorite uh, Marvel superhero. So I had to get it, it was only three bucks and yeah, there you go, really cool comic. Now onto the mall. That was, I mean, all around it was just surprising. I had no idea that there was like a, a card collecting event going on. <laughs> So it was, a, it was a pleasant surprise, I'll say that. But before I got to the card event, I did actually go into a, a box lunch, there you go. And I found a pop that I, when I saw that it was announced, I kind of decided I was gonna get it and I'm happy they had it. That is the 50th anniversary um, of Wolverine Weapon X pop. Now you might know they have actually done a Weapon X uh, 
pop in the past and I did have that at one point but I actually sold it and when I saw this one I just kind of decided I wanted it back. I feel like this one's a better mold than the other one. The other one was cool don't get me wrong but I don't know I felt like the chest was kind of out of proportion like it was so huge and this one just has better detail the uh like I said the body kind of fits better so I just liked this one and, and Wolverine is definitely my number one superhero. Wolverine then Moon Knight so I, I definitely had to pick this up. They also had, well, they had all four of the pops that you see here on the back. The only other one that kind of I was maybe thinking about was the Old Man Logan, just because that comic is awesome, and uh, the movie Logan was awesome. So I thought about it, but I, I ultimately just decided to go with this one right here, and I'm happy I did. It's, it's really cool. So there you go. Uh, Weapon X. Just really cool pop. Okay, now on to that card collecting event that was going on. Um, I'm really happy there were two vendors there that had tons of pops. There was this guy named Skyler who was actually at What's Poppin' last week, if you saw my previous videos. Um, and actually the other guy was there too. His name is Adam. He was also, uh, he also had a booth at What's Poppin'. And so I kind of talked to both of them. They both had awesome pops. Skyler had some crazy grails, which I showed. And Adam had tons of out-of-box pops, which are really cool and really exciting to me. And the one I decided to go with, he, he gave me a really good deal on it. That is Spider-Man 2099, and it is the original one. This is cool. You can tell that it has uh, that original mold for the body. Back in the day, I feel like they used this mold on literally every single Funko Pop. <laughs> they just kind of painted over them, um, and I love it. It just kind of feels like, I don't know, it feels original to me, and I, I like that. And, and the, uh, the Spider-Man, like the more obscure Spider-Man characters are kind of my favorite. Uh, you know, like Scarlet Spider, I've got a bunch from him here. And uh, he's he's definitely top five favorite Marvel superhero, maybe number four, I don't know. Um, but 2099 is really cool. And with the uh, the new Spider-Verse movies coming out, I thought it was it was a great pickup. And he, he gave it to me for 10 bucks. So like, I can't complain at all. That thing is awesome. And yeah, that was everything I picked up on this very random and surprisingly awesome Funko Pop hunt today. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe down below. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.